Okay, welcome to another video down here on the River Ribble. Today we've come down after about a week of flood water where it wasn't really fishable. I, I hate using the word unfishable, but this is really the first chance we've got to properly get in a swim and get fishing. I'm on the woodcutter's day to get stretched today and I've got two rods out for chubba bar, but we're going to fish it into the dark. I've made a few rig adjustments after uh, talking to some people online. So, from the rigs I've previously used, I've binned off the PVA bags, swapped the leads out for big cage feeders, and now I've got a lot of ground bait and pellet going out. I'm also recasting a lot more regularly to keep that bait going in. So, I've just got the rods out now. We'll keep you with us until dark. Um, we've got kit to hopefully just about be able to film in dark if that's when we get a fish. So yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. Just quickly go through the rig. So I've now got, instead of a lead, a 60 gram cage feeder. I'm absolutely stuffing that with ground bait, sometimes pellets. I've got that clipped onto a running bead. I've then got a quick change bead, which is there. So I can put my hook link on, which is about three and a half foot of 15 pound coated braid. The main line is um, 18 pound mono, I should have said that. And then I've got a size eight core and barbless hook with hair rigged on the old faithful 14 mil bloodworm pellet that's all it is here you can see where in the swim i cast the baits to which is the line where the slack water meets the flowing water known as the crease I then sat back and watched the rods, as I've learned from my previous sessions that bites are unlikely to start before the last hour of the light. Minnows remain a constant issue on this river and are the reason for the hard pellet bait approach, as any natural bait I put out there, the minnows just destroyed in minutes. Well, I don't know if you can hear me because it's quite windy now, but we've just had a proper squall come through. But I've just had a proper, I think what was a big liner on my right hand rod. So I'm hoping maybe some action's on the way. There we go. Save the blank at least. Okay, well we've uh, we've saved the blank with a lovely little two pound shub so far. I'm not giving up yet, but it's nice to nice to pick up a fish. Nice and active. I don't think we got much of the fight. Um, it's just getting a bit too dark now. We're just on the last bit of light. It probably looks on this um, really dark because we're lighting this with a head torch, but. Nice to get a fish anyway on the 14 mil bloodworm. Happy days. Unfortunately, that was our only fish of the session, but I enjoyed just getting back down the river after all the recent rains we've had, and I'll definitely be back down here soon. Well, we've had to pack up now, we've jumped back in the Land Rover. We had one more bite after that small chub which I missed. I think it was sort of a, just a big liner really. But um, we didn't blank because we did catch a small chub. So I'm counting that as a success. I'm still getting used to this type of fishing. So I'm not that disheartened we didn't get a barbell. I'm just glad we got a fish after all that flood. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry, I guess this was a short video. Um, I know there was only one fish in it, but it was a nice fish. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions as usual, pop them in the comments. I'll happy to talk about anything and I'll hope to see you next time.